Hello friends, this is Pankaj and you are watching AM Tutorial. In this video, we will see how you can add JavaScript through include client lib Granite UI component. This method is used when you want to include client library or JavaScript specific to a single dialog, unlike cq.authing.dialog which was firing JavaScript in every single dialog. Let's jump to the AM. Here you can see we have this English page and in my last video we had seen cq.authing.dialog method where I had used that client lib in this hello world client library. So let me go and open the hello world component from the apps. Just go to the demo training. This is my project and this is a component content within content. We have this hello world component inside which we have this client lib authoring client library. And inside this we had this JS folder and this JavaScript and we have this JS.txt file where we have entry of this JS.js. So what I will do, I will change this client library. So let's open this client library authoring. This is my client library and uh, let me change the category name here. Earlier it was cq.authoring.dialog. Let me change it to, let me change it to cq.include and click on OK and save this. So now I have the client library and its category name is cq.include. Inside this we have this JavaScript and uh, I want to keep this JavaScript same as it was earlier. So it has the first line as client library called and within this foundation content loaded we are printing this foundation content loaded was fired event. My client library is ready now. Now let's open the dialog. We have this dialog and within items we have this text, country list and list form. Let's open it. Here you can see I have this text and this uh, drop down and this checkbox. Let's close this and go back and uh, now just like any other component we can add a node and give it all properties to all on our client library. Let's do this under the items node. This is my items node. Items simply render the components. If I will try to use it outside of an items node, it wouldn't get rendered. So just go to the items and uh, create a node here under this items. Create a node and let's name it include hyphen grand lip. You can name it anything. Click on OK and save this. And with this node selected, its primary type is NTN structured. Now here we need to add a sling resource type. So what I will do, I will go to the columns and here I will copy this sling resource type. Click on copy and go back to our node and paste here. So click on save. We have added the same resource type, just change the resource type from the container to include client lips. Change the container to include client lips. Save it. And another property we need to add is JS string and client library name. So our client library name was cq.include, just copy it. Click on OK and go back to our node and add this name. Click on add, save this. Now we have this node include and lib where we have these two properties JS where we have this cq.include client library name and source type is include and libs. Now we are done with the coding and let's go back to our page and now let me open the console window. And refresh this page. As you can see here, while loading the page, it has not called any client library like it was calling in our cq.authing.dialog method. Now let's clean this and uh, let's the dialog of this paragraph. It's a text and let's see if the, our client library is getting called or not. Let's open this and expand this window. Here you can see there's no client library added in this dialog. So click on close. We have added the client library in our hello world. So let's open the hello world component. 
this is my hello world component let's open the dialog and here if i expand this console you will see the client library has been called and it has fired the event foundation content loaded and the target was our coral dialog so if you only want js to fire on a single dialog then we can use this granite ui component include client libs and in the next video we will see how you can do the validation using these methods Thank you friends. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe my channel, like this video and share this with your friends. Thanks again for watching.